like that. We got it. Motor, motor. Welcome back to the channel. What's going on guys? Today we're getting into this Briggs and Stratton five horse. There you know. Now, where did we get this thing from? Funny story about this here engine. This has been in our family for probably about 30 years. It has bounced a few little ownerships back and forth, but we got her back. My dad, this was actually his go-kart motor when he was kind of about our age tinkering around with stuff. So this engine has got to be, I want to say 35 to 40 years old. If we wanted to, we could probably look up, it's got the engine code and model here. Typically, it tells you the year it was produced. It's like 13 gotta years Google. old. Yeah. You gotta <laughs> Google, but yeah. Anyways, we, we got it back from the people that bought it from our family because when they picked it up, we weren't doing this channel and then uh, good family friends, they noticed we were doing this channel and you know wanted to give it back. So a, a very nice donation by them and we appreciate that very heavily. It also has a pre-installed torque converter, which if you look at the, the previous video here, we installed that on our go-kart. All right, if you wanna explain kind of what we're gonna get into. Yeah, so just kind of some basic TLC. It smells like some pretty raunchy gases in there. I would imagine it's probably varnished by now. So probably start with draining it all out, assessing the situation there with the gas tank. I got a new spark plug for it, so we'll, we'll swap the spark plug. We'll take a peek at the air filter. Um, probably check the oil, maybe swap out the oil as well because it sounds like it's been sitting for a while. It's probably been sitting for about 10 years. So a little extra to the backstory. The people that bought it from our family, they couldn't get it started. We think that there may be an issue with the carb so we might need to blast some uh, brake cleaner on the carb and hope for the best. Maybe run some sea foam through it too. Yeah, because I, th I think the varnish gas or the, the rot gas probably didn't help with them trying to start it. Maybe we got to burst all those clogged lines. Yeah, so we'll kind of just start there. And uh, get some new gas in it, new spark plug. Yep. We'll see, uh, see what the oil situation's like and yeah, see if we can get her started. This is not a racing machine. Well, I guess not yet. But it was never designed to be a racing machine, so I'm not going to worry about gapping the spark plug at all. How about the same brand? It's a Briggs & Stratton plug, so... Should be gapped already! You know, once we once we build up this second go-kart, we're probably going to do a little bit of Mario Kart racing, so... We'll, we'll pull out some turtles and bananas and mushrooms and... What else do they do? Fire? Guns? Chain chomp? Check out that air filter. She's a little chewed up, but I mean, it's not really bad. You think a schmice got in there? Took a couple bites? <laughs> Maybe. I feel like it would be worse if an animal was actually in there because there's not like debris. We'll call that good. All right, the gas looks kind of crunchy and textured in there, so that's a really bad sign just to start off. Oh! And there goes the gas. And yeah, that doesn't even smell like gas really, does it? <laughs> yeah. It smells like funk. Ooh. Sludge. Ooh. Look at that nasty stuff. Yeah, that doesn't look too good. You tip it more. John's got a funnel. Yeah, the John. rare occasion I use a funnel. John's got a funnel. I hate funnels. Sean's got a fun hole. Is that what he said? Sean's got a fun hole. I didn't say nothing. Sean's got a funnel. Oh, he's. <laughs> John's putting oil in his funnel. <laughs> Some basic 30 weight. It looks right about where it was before. Okay. So that's probably good. Dumping the drain oil into where the drain oil goes. John's got a bigger fun hole, dude. Uh -huh. Time to dump the old gas. Ooh. Why is that orange? Let's see if this is really good gas. <laughs> So this must be a fuel filter of some sort sitting in the gas tank. Uh, not a whole lot of strength to it. 
kind of deteriorated and and this is just what I can grab. There's a ton more in there uh, that's just broken down and clogged up. All right, we're gonna cut a chunk of chain here and toss a chunk in the gas tank with some new gas to just clean up the inside of the tank. Nice, you know what I just realized? We're spitting all those sparks right at that gas can. <laughs> yeah. That is why we wear these hard hats, because if there's a gas explosion, at least our coconut will be safe. So the theory of putting the, or the chain in the gas tank is to have an abrasive force, and when we shake this around, all those chain links will disturb all that gunk that's built up on the side of the walls. And we'll shake it, shake it, shake it, pour some new gas in, pour it right out, and then it should clear most of that gunk, if not all, or as much as we can. Shake, 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 shake. Sean is a funnel. Sean is a funnel. What's this, 87? Yeah, just for the purpose of cleaning. Good. It's kind of hard to shake an engine. We might have goofed. Let me take that back. We did goof. We did goof. <laughs> uh, adding a bunch of loose weight in there to shake around. So the nature of this system, it's not a gravity fed gas tank where the tank's above and there's a hose that feeds down into the carburetor. This has a little plastic rod that shoots down into the gas and it sucks it up. That little plastic rod, when we added the chain and shook it around, it just snapped it off because it's so brittle. It is fun. It's all about the process. It's not about the destination. It's about the friends you make along oh. the way. Oh, yeah, we got a lot of stuff out of that. Well, maybe it wasn't a bad idea at the end of the day to park that thing. I don't think so. <laughs> this is all we could afford. Alrighty, so if you're a fellow smooth brain like myself, you'll kind of understand that we buy a bunch of crap we don't need. I already got a helmet on, but when I saw this, I could not help myself. It's a full safari brim 3M non-ventilated hard hat. And you know, here at 52, we need these puppies because we get in trouble and hit our heads a lot. So. I saw this while shopping. I could not help myself but to buy it. But as with Sean's hard hat, white is not gonna cut it. We're gonna have to spray paint this puppy and get it all nice and fancy again. Looks good to me. Hmm. Got a good idea. Just ah! gotta paint this guy quick. We're running real low on uh, the FDA, so. Just gotta add a couple stripes here of brown. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Finally, I got the gas tank off. This filthy pig in all its glory, Ooh. if you can say that. Um, as well as the part that we busted off. It attaches right to there at the end of this piece here and it's rolling around in here. That's supposed to be on there and it's not because we broke it. We done goofed. A little bit. Whoopsies. Whoopsies. Once again, filling something up with gas. 
That seems to be some a common theme on our channel is constantly pouring gas into things. And dumping it on the ground and cleaning it up and, and spilling it on fire. And it on fire. Boom, 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 boom. Oh yeah, that looks good in there. You got soft hands, boy. <laughs> We're in the on position and on choke. The whole fuel system was just emptied. Yeah. And it hasn't ran in a while. So we gotta be patient. I didn't want to spray too much. I heard a boom. Yeah, come on. Okay, you see all those sunflower seeds and stuff oh. spit out? <laughs> yep. That's, that's a good sign. Oh. Shooting out more junk. Yeah. That's the most we've had. It's gonna be a bunch of rat here. Oh, do you see that nest right there? This may be part of our problem. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So we found there was a wire that was grounding out inappropriately. So I think we may be onto something. Yeah, I just got shocked. Yep, so we are onto Ooh, something. We got spark now. Alrighty, let's uh, let's try this out. Just a little. <laughs> Just like that, we got it. Kills. Wow. We got her. Problem solved, baby. And just like that, we crushed another engine. What's, what, what does that make our engine count? So we got good. We'll talk about that one later. Electrical issues. <laughs> good. Needle and seat. Got this puppy running. I think we're doing good work. I think we're doing all right, man. Well, we got it running. A lot of work. This is about a four hour time lapse. So when it's all said and done, you know, to crush a project that has been kind of kicking our butt for four hours, it feels good once she's running and it smells good too. A little bit of teamwork. We got it. Feels good. Yeah. She's ripping. We just got to throw it on a body and Yep. All right, well that's it for today's video. If you like building with us, please click on this video right here. Enjoy. Thanks.